To God be the glory. We're here at the Synagogue Church of Four Nations. Here before us is a, is a police officer from Ghana Police. I want to hear from him the reason why he has come to the Synagogue Church of Four Nations, Lagos, Nigeria, at this point in time. So, our brother, welcome you to the Synagogue Church of Four Nations in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Could you tell us your name, where you come from, and what you do for a living? My name is Constable Edwin Akbalu in the Ghana Police Service. Okay, you can see here at the Synagogue Church of Four Nations, Lagos, Nigeria. Could you tell us the reason why you're here today? I had a suspect escape from my custody at the hospital when I was detailed to guide him. The suspect was arrested by civilians and handed over to the police for uh, persecution. So the suspect has been uh, reminded uh, in the police custody for persecution, but he sustained various injuries, so he has been admitted at the hospital where I was detailed to go and guide him for the night shift. I performed the duty from Tuesday, Wednesday, and everything went successful. On Thursday, at exactly 7 p.m., the CIDs brought the suspect back to the hospital and handed over him to me, where I handcuffed the suspect attached to the bed. At about 11.45 p.m., when all the nurses came for their final medication, I was sitting on the corridor of the hospital. And of all I know, I heard the nurses shouting, thief, 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 where are you going? So I quickly cocked my rifle and ready to fire. So I saw this criminal covering himself with a white cloth. So by the time I aimed to fire at him, there was a nurse also coming from the outside door into the ward to give medication. So I was contemplating within myself, if I should fire, I either go in for the criminal or I get the innocent soul. So I tried to run after the suspect, but by the time I got outside, everywhere was dark, and the suspect took to his heel. That was how the man ran. And after that, I called the patrol teams, our unit commander. He brought in the patrol teams. They helped me comb the town for the whole night, but we were not able to arrive at our main purpose. So he asked me to go home and report the following morning. So the following morning, I reported at the regional headquarters, that is Sonyani. I was given 10 days ultimatum to produce the suspect, else I will face the full rigor of the law of the Ghana Police Service, which is dismissal or going to jail. This is the picture of the hardened criminal, the notorious criminal which escaped from the hospital. The consequence of this to me as a police officer is I, I will go to jail or I will face service inquiry which will lead to my dismissal in the service. And today marks the sixth day which out of the ten days given to me to produce the suspect, else I will face service inquiry which will lead to my dismissal or going to jail. This incident is not just known to me, but it has been published in all the daily graphics in Ghana and on the internet. So after that, I had a lot of calls from friends. Some friends advised me to go to Black Magic, which I was contemplating about. I told my dad about the issue, and he said, okay, I should go and kneel down for any black power because God is the final authority. My parents said I should come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations to see Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, and he would tell me whatever the case may be. So I came down to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. My, my parents advised me that once I've given myself to Christ, I shouldn't go to black power, but I'd rather come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations to see Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua. So whatever he says is final. Okay, you mean that's the reason why you are here today? Exactly, sir. We are going to take your message to the prophet and let's hear God's opinion from the man of God, Senior Prophet TV Joshua. I will get back to you any moment from now. 
So, our brother, to God be the glory, we are indeed serving the living God, and uh, the word of the prophet is the word of God. Having met with Prophet T.B. Joshua, as we told you earlier on, we narrated your plight to him, and he was moved by the Spirit of God. He said, we should let you know that you shouldn't worry yourself at all. You should go back to Ghana and have your good sleep. But as he's talking right now, the brother is changed spiritually and is going to be found. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Oh, God, oh God I thank you. I thank you for an answered prayer. I thank you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I never, I never know you, you answer my prayers. I never know you answer my prayers. I never know you answer my prayers. When I was coming, I told myself, son of God, son of David, have mercy on me. And really, God has had mercy on me. T thank you, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, for, for vindicating me. Else by the, uh, four days from today, I'll be in jail. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So, and apart from that, the prophet said we should give you the sum of $1,000. Oh, God. Thank you, man of God. God richly bless you. I came with a problem. I never knew you would reward me this way. Thank you. God richly bless you. And I want to thank all Emmanuel TV partners. Anybody who sows into the life of man of God should be rewarded in thousand folds. I'm going back to Ghana and testify the good thing that the Lord has done in my life through the senior prophet TV Joshua. I will testify his glory to all the nations to know that, yes, the God of Mesach, Sadrach, Abednego is still a miracle-working God. I'm, I'm coming back with a very big testimony, and I know how that day will be. Thank you, man of God. I'm going to live a life for Christ. I will not trespass again, but I will live a life for Christ so that I will please Christ. To God be the glory, we thank God Almighty for what uh, He has done in your life. And we can't just wait to hear this testimony from you, because right now you are going with a great expectation that definitely the escaped suspect will be held back and be arrested once again. Because the prophet has said they will find him and they will get him back. So you go, as he said, travel back to Ghana, take care of yourself, no cause for alarm, no cause for worry, and we expect you to come back with a great testimony. And we pray the Lord will be with you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for setting me free. Thank you, Jesus.